The rise of ultra-realistic robots that look exactly like human beings is accelerating like never before. With skin that feels like living tissue, faces that move and convey emotion, and mind-blowing accuracy, these are machines that are dissolving the boundary between man and machine. No longer in sci-fi or theme parks, they're entering real-life roles, from reception to kitchens. But how far is it going? Are we at the dawn of a robot society? Let's discover. Meet Amira, the humanoid robot created by a British company engineered Astarts. Amira is appreciated by her extremely realistic face and expressivity. The synthetic skin of high-grade silicone is natural to touch and has a remarkable resemblance to a human face. Amira has an advanced motor system controlling its facial expression and displays her joy, surprise, sadness, or curiosity. What will make Amira different is the ability to study human behavior and her ability to analyze conversations. She responds to audiences differently, which means she is great in the open environment such as museums, exhibitions, and shopping malls. Her AI algorithms enable her to create context and help to create a natural flow of the conversation. The high-resolution cameras inside her eyes track the movement and keep the eye contact, and this makes the interaction more personal. She has a voice system that is capable of inflecting and altering the tone and emotion that brings out depth in her speaking. The interactions teach Amira how to communicate as time goes by, and the improvement of ability to communicate has been a proof of how advanced robotics has become to simulate how humans behave. When she is at work, answering the question, escorting visitors, or just socializing, she makes a mark. Her existence attracts the attention and creates curiosity, and thus she is a benefit to any kind of interactive environment. Aria is a human robot that is produced by an American company, Realbotics. It has been created as a realistic and interactive friend with a smarter technology and thoughtful design. What sets Aria apart is the realistic look, which was achieved through the use of such materials as silicone and thermoplastic elastomer, replacing the hardness and rigidity of human skin. Her realistic facial features and the texture of her skin make her look amazingly human. Aria is not only a pretty face, but it is also an AI-driven robot that can engage in conversations, respond to the questions, and enjoy getting to know her owner and his or her preferences. She reads through conversations and develops with time and becomes a more personal experience. Her face and body are fitted with servo motors, which ensures natural and natural body movements. She has the ability to nod her head, move her head, and portray some feelings through the slightest movements. These characteristics make her more of a friend than a robot. Arya also interprets voice commands and answers in a modifiable voice. Voice. The app allows the user to decide between various tones and accents, which makes each conversation special. She can be easily upgraded due to her modular design, hence she will not be left behind when it comes to changes in technology. She fits in between technology and humanity regardless of whether she is entertaining, educating, or giving emotional support to them. The fact that she is capable of adapting, learning, and connecting makes her a great demonstration of what can be achieved in the future of robotics. The company QSSA and Robots has presented the project of a humanoid robot Sarah in Saudi Arabia, which has a female image and great respect of the established traditions and values. Her decent, courteous, and culturally conscious way of behaving fast became the nationwide phenomenon when Sarah was only 16 years old. She does not refer to possible sore points like politics or personal issues and prefers to talk on light and socially desirable topics referring to Saudi traditions and values. Sarah is program to alter the tone of speech and language according to the circumstances of communication. Her designers made her operate with humbleness and grace, and she was admired by people who were watching the demonstrations because of her relaxation and her submissiveness. Sarah is more than a machine as she's perceived to be a cultural ambassador, a scenario indicating how robotics can fit into the values of society. Standing at a height of 162 centimeters wearing traditional Saudi clothing, Sarah personifies herself as a 25-year-old female. She has facial recognition software and is able to use nodding or smiling to indicate their responses in an addition to her parabiosis as a lifelike presence. She can identify and replicate human facial expressions making her much relatable. Sarah is the first robot that has been entirely designed and manufactured in Saudi Arabia, and this is a big leap in the technological advancement in the region. 
Humanoids have been charming viewers in Dalianex Future Science and Technology Museum in China. The type of robots created is to depict historic heroes like Pablo Picasso, Albert Einstein, and Confucius. In order to do so, the professionals studied hours of video content to recreate the facial expressions, the tone of the voice, and even the quirks of each image. The robots are supplied with sophisticated speech synthesis, face recognition, and holography 3D to give the extreme sense of the immersive interactive learning. Learning. Visitors are able to freely chat with the robots in real time by asking questions and getting inquisitive and historically minded responses. The combination of edutainment draws the interest of students, researchers, as well as families into the exhibit. The museum draws up to 200,000 visitors per year and acts as a convergence point to discuss how robotics may be used in preserving and disseminating culture. The combination of holographic screens and interactive terminals allows the humanoid robot to fit in a futuristic space where the past can be seen as living in the present and accessible. In this case, humanoid robots are not only learning devices but also cultural narrators. They represent iconic figures in art, science, and philosophy and can help in mediating between the past and present, ensure the history can be more approachable and feel closer to us. Reciproid is a robotic receptionist that was designed by Kango to transform automation of customer service. Reciproid is designed and dedicated to front desk jobs, so working with repetitive and strenuous tasks is not a problem anymore. It is focused, patient, and friendly enough to go through the whole day, and this is a quality necessary in any high traffic place. It is also multilingual in its communication ability, making it one of the outstanding features of Reciproid. It is also fluent in different languages, which make the international visitors feel wanted and understood. It does not walk like Reciproid, but it makes up by its lifelike movements of nodding, blinking, and tilting the head to become downright human-like. Its AI is sufficiently advanced to answer the visitor questions in a correct way. This makes it very productive in the crowded facilities such as airports, hotels, and company offices. In Nagasaki, to take an example, there are hotels with robots in them, some of which are used in the form of Reciproid, which has been noted to allow the automation of hospitality services. Its high level of performance and polite attitude preconditions it becoming a reliable frontline assistant. With the proliferation of robots, as the example of Reciproid shows, the idea of accepting automated solutions into businesses will allow them to provide efficient customer service on a consistent basis without regard to cultural considerations. The design reflects the perception that robotics is not only about substitution of human work, but also the way to improve the customer service interaction in general. The robot Dunyasha is one of the first models of robot cashiers to appear at the Russian First Cyber Cafeteria, which is based on the Robo C2 companion robot. Dunyasha is a humanoid robot made to serve others and have movable arms, neck, face, and head, thus doing various duties with utter realistic exertions. It is able to work with items of up to one kilogram weight, serve ice cream, pour soda, prepare coffee, and much more. Customers are waiting, but while waiting, Dunyasha is able to communicate with not only customers, it can also share news with them or even ask to take a selfie, and so the experience becomes not only efficient, but enjoyable. The first cyber cafeteria in which Dunyasha was present was opened in Perm at the center of the city and Nizhny Novgorod in the Central Park. Such futuristic installations have a robotic manipulator arm with a soft serve ice cream machine, soda dispenser, coffee maker, self-service terminal, and a hyper-realistic robot cash counter. A majority of the cyber cafe items are produced in Russia and depicts the emerging robotics market in the country. The new model of Dunyasha has better servo motors that make the arms move better and a greater variety of micro expressions that make interaction just like an emotional one. The customer visiting the cyber cafeteria is going to be served completely automatically and the human interference is to be minimum. Everything including ordering and serving is done by machines giving a future look of how food may be served. The developers also hope this will apply to autonomous cafes in other cities of the world. Aresa is a reception robot that is in the form of a humanoid robot and appeared at the International Robot Exhibition in 2017. Able to communicate in English, Japanese, Chinese, and Korean, this six feet tall Aresa is able to accommodate various tasks due to her touchscreen interface. She assists passengers of the subways and navigation, suggests the interesting places to visit and information about the transportation. She has an AI system that enables her to comprehend questions and provide the right answers either audibly or in visual 
visual means, hence ensuring that the user gets support fast and in clear terms. She is capable of posing on selfies, doing little dances, and having some lighthearted interactions, and therefore is not as machine-like as a helper. Her designers had planned to make her a casino dealer, but with her ability to do a lot more, they reverted her work to offering a service role to the public and need to be displayed in shopping centers and transport stations where she could assist visitors in locating stores, toilets, as well as transfer information. The way in which she managed to combine practical aspect with entertainment renders her one of the most striking examples of how robots can be used to augment the human experiences within the public space. Through her ability to strike the balance between the functionality and a pinch of personality, Arisa provides us with the insight into how service-oriented robots will play out in the future. Astrobot S1 is a state-of-art humanoid robot produced by Chinese firm Astrobot. In one of the videos that has been released lately, S1 showed off in its ability to cook in a kitchen by being able to move with a speed of up to 10 meters per second and be able to lift up to 10 kilograms on each hand. Astrobot claims that it is quick enough to put a table of more than one person within minutes. S1 is very capable of pouring wine, cooking sandwiches in a griddle, and even in delicate operations such as calligraphy. The activities that in no way damage the objects. It has smooth and controlled movements, which means it will be deployed in home kitchens as well as restaurants. Astrobot has intentions to develop the capabilities of S1 further so that it can enter the restaurants and households all over the world. The prospect of the robot taking control of the time-consuming and labor-intensive tasks of cooking through small supervision can transform the food production and serving industry. Not only in cooking, S1 can also, besides providing assistance with other household tasks, determine the serving guests, and even engage in cultural performances. A combination of high speed, power, and precision makes it one of the most sophisticated service robots on the development stage. Astrobot S1 is not merely a kitchen helper, but the hint of what robotics will bring to everyday life. Further advancements are possible, and with time, it might become an ordinary thing at homes and businesses, providing a high level of convenience, same product anywhere, and having some futuristic convenience on the side.